This video is about net filtration pressure. That what is the formula for the net filtration pressure and how you will calculate the net filtration pressure. So the net filtration pressure is the balance between the pressure favoring filtration and the pressure opposing filtration. As in the previous videos, you have learned about there are certain pressures that are involved in the formation of the filtrate from the glomerular capil capillaries. So these pressures, there were some pressures that favors the filtration and there were some pressures that were opposing the filtration. So this favoring pressure along with the opposing pressure, these collectively are known as the net filtration pressure. So the net filtration pressure as the formation of the filtrate results by working together of all these pressures that there are some pressures that favors the filtration and there were some pressures that oppose the filtration. So these pressures together form the net filtration pressure. So what is the formula for the net filtration pressure? Before that, let's see the that what were these pressures that were favoring the filtration and the pressures that were opposing the filtration. So let's recall those pressure measurements that what were the measurements? First, we will see the measurements for these pressures and then we will put that measurements in the formula for the net filtration pressure. And then by putting those measurements of the pressures in the formula, you will calculate the net filtration pressure. So let's see, uh, let's recall those measurements for the pressures. First of all, the favoring pressure uh, as already learned in the previous videos, the favoring pressure for the filtration is the glomerular capillary pressure as the glomerular capillary pressure is caused by the pressure caused by the blood, the hydrostatic pressure of the blood that results in the formation of the filtrate. So this pressure quantity is about 60 millimeter Hg. So Hg is for mercury is the unit of the pressure. So glomerular capillary pressure, the pressure exerted by the blood towards the filtrate. So this pressure is known as the glomerular capillary pressure and it is about 60 millimeter Hg. So this quantity, we will then put these measurements into the formula for the calculation of the net filtration pressure. Okay, so this is the only pressure that favors the filtration. There are other pressures, two other pressures that are basically the opposing pressures. So the pressure that oppose the filtration are colloidal osmotic pressure, so colloidal osmotic pressure that keeps the osmotic pressure of the blood vessels that is opposite to the glomer glomerular capillary pressure that it opposes the um, flow of filtrate into the Bowman's capsule as it does not allow the passage of all the water to come into the filtrate. So it keeps the water and other some other substances to be in the blood and to maintain the volume of the blood so to maintain the volume of the blood, there is the osmotic pressure created by these blood vessels. So it is known as colloidal osmotic pressure. So this is the opposing pressure that it will uh, resist the formation of the filtrate. So because as you, you have seen here that the glomerular capillary pressure is 60. So glomerular, the favoring pressure is more than that of the opposing pressure. That's why it results in the formation of the filtrate. So the colloidal osmotic pressure is the, uh, the quantity or the measurement for this pressure is the 25 millimeter Hg. The other opposing force is the hydrostatic pressure in the Bowman capsule. So when the filtrate is formed, there is also the opposing action or opposing force created by the filtrate present in the Bowman's capsule. So as one hydrostatic pressure is by the blood, the filtrate and the other two opposing forces are the colloidal osmotic pressure and hydrostatic pressure in the Bowman's capsule and this pressure is created by the filtrate. So it also opposes and resists the formation of the filtrate. So the quantity or the measurement for the hydrostatic pressure in the Bowman's capsule is 15 millimeter Hg. So collectively 
uh, the opposing filtration pressure, if we add these both, as these both collectively are the opposing filtration. Um, so 25 and 15, if we add them, it will become 40. So the opposing force is 40. It's still, if we combine both of them, it's still less than that of the favoring filtration pressure because the favoring filtration pressure was 60 millimeter Hg while the opposing uh, pressure for the filtration is 40 millimeter Hg. So now let's put these quantities into the formula. So before uh, putting these quantities into the formula and calculating them, let's see what is the formula for the net filtration pressure. The formula of the net filtration pressure is net filtration pressure is equals to all these three pressures as we have read about them, all these pressures will come. So net filtration pressure uh, equals to the both um, favoring pressure and the opposing pressure. So uh, net filtration pressure equals to colloidal osmotic pressure uh, as it is uh, exerted by the blood vessels to maintain the osmotic pressure of the blood vessels as to maintain the composition and the volume of the blood uh, to, uh, to, to make it, um, to, to, to avoid it from being collapsed and to being concentrated. So colloidal osmotic pressure and plus together with hydrostatic pressure in the Bowman's capsule. As the hydrostatic pressure in the Bowman capsule, it is by the filtrate that opposes, that is opposite to that of the glomerular capillary pressure. So the collection of these both, these both are the opposing pressure. We will add the quantities of the colloidal osmotic pressure and the hydrostatic pressure in the Bowman capsule. And then the opposing pressure will be detected will be minus from the glomerular capillary pressure. So th this is the formula for the net filtration pressure. So net filtration pressure equals to the favoring pressure minus opposing pressure. Okay, so net filtration pressure equals to the favoring pressure that favors the filtrate formation and the opposing pressure that opposes the formation of the filtrate. So we will minus the opposing pressure from the favoring pressure. So let's put the quantities or the measurements in this formula. As the colloidal osmotic pressure, as we have recalled in this, in this lecture, that colloidal osmotic pressure was uh, 25 and the hydrostatic pressure in Bowman's capsule is 15. So 25 millimeter Hg plus 15 millimeter Hg. And let's put the glomerular capillary pressure values. Uh, that is the 60, that is, is more than that of the opposing forces, opposing filtration pressure. So 60 minus uh, this favoring pressure minus this opposing pressure. Okay, now let's calculate this 25 plus 50 as we calculated earlier that these collectively forms the 40. So 25 plus 15, these opposing forces, opposing pressure, it will be 25 plus 15 and 25 for the colloidal osmotic pressure and 15 for the hydrostatic pressure. So 25 plus 15 is 40. Now we will minus this 40 from the glomerular capillary pressure. So glomerular capillary pressure is 60, uh, like favoring pressure minus opposing pressure. So 60 minus 40, it equals to 20 millimeter Hg. So the net filtration pressure equals to the 20 millimeter Hg. So this is the normal value. So this indicates the normal filtration pressure or normal formation of the filtrate. So for the net filtration pressure of all these collectively for the formation of the filtrate, the net filtration pressure must be 20 millimeter Hg because there is the favoring and opposing. So these all pressures works together for the formation of the filtrate. So this must be 20 millimeter Hg. It is about 20 millimeter Hg. So it values also fluctuate, but the normal uh, range varies from 15 to 20 millimeter Hg. So it must be very, it, um, for the normal uh, net filtration pressure, it must vary between 15 to 20 millimeter Hg.